darn it, and you want me to? Mm-hmm. Welcome to Starbucks, I can help you. Um, th are your Irish cream cobras in? We are all out of it, actually. Oh, it was God. a limited time thing. Okay. Limited time for Yeah, what else can I do for you, though? Um, I don't know what I want. Um, one second, please. I'll you want to try vanilla sweet cream cobra? What one? Uh, or should oh, I just get I'm my sorry. regular drink? I've had that before. What's your uh, yeah, can we get that please in Grande? Yeah, what else for you? Uh, that'll be all. Alright, 443. Thank you. They got rid of it. It's a Christmas drink. What is today? December 13th. How they get rid of the Irish cream cold brew before Christmas? Anyway, so I tried to get the Irish cream cold brew and they're out of it, which I think at the other Starbucks they probably would have it. Um, we'll have one. The other one here? That one's busiest. Yeah, it. but they might get more stuff. Um, but anyway, I've read, like, several workers on YouTube comments for Starbucks say, like, baristas, say that the reason they run out early sometimes is just because they just run out. And if it's a holiday drink, they don't get, like, restock. You know, they don't, like, restock that because it's a holiday drink. They probably don't want to have a bunch of leftover or whatever. So, um, once it's out, it's out. So... Every location is, like, different from what I've read. If you're a barista, I'm sure you know more than I do about that. But I guess if you don't run out of that location, then you're not out, you know. So it just depends, but I really wanted to try it. But I'm not going to get to. So we got a sweet cream cold brew. I like those. I know I like those. I've had them before. Um, you can just so. go and get some Irish cream and pour it in there. It literally is the same thing. No, because they, like, whip it into the top stuff. So Stop. It. So anyway... Welcome to today's vlog, today's vlogmas. It's day 13 already, is it day 13? December 13th? My watch is, yeah it does, Friday, Friday the 13th. Oh no. That's why you didn't get it, you're so lucky. <laughs> That's why I didn't get the drink. So unlucky. <laughs> they didn't have it because it's Friday the 13th. Um, so anyways, yeah, we're gonna get our drink here. I have a gift card, is honestly the only reason that I'm actually here. But, I really did want to try that drink with this gift card. I'm so annoyed. But maybe they'll have it again Verizon's next year. Treating, yeah. Or actually, I know a lot of people. Um, yeah, I got a gift card, a free gift card from Verizon for literally just having them for a phone company. So, works for me. I told Krista that I get a free drink, um, but, like, I don't get any service. <laughs> like, I get okay service, but, like, when we... Go which when we went to England, Manny got some service, like a lot more than I did, and I had nothing like that. You know, sometimes if you go to different countries, they'll offer you like this is like your package for like this country, but mine was like ridiculous. If I got it, I would have to pay a lot, so it was just not gonna happen. So I didn't have anything unless I had Wi Fi, which wasn't a huge deal. I usually had Wi Fi anyway, but and I know that's pretty standard when you go out of the country, but some phone companies like Manny's actually do offer something. Manny has um, Sprint. Manny has spread, but I always, always want to say AT&T because you used to have that, but Verizon's been good. I mean, they do have good service for me. It's just, um, randomly they won't, but I think that that's kind of normal for everybody. Um, but yeah, they gave me a gift card for Starbucks for $5, so that's a win in my books. Julia Havens here on YouTube, she gets always a different variation of the cold brews that they have because she doesn't drink, she doesn't like cold brew. I think she said it hurts her stomach, so she gets just the iced coffee, and then she always does, like, a different variation for the foam on the top. Like, it's always, like, more of, like, a complicated order, but usually if you're, like, brave enough to order the complicated stuff at Starbucks, <laughs> it's better. Like, it's better if you kind of have your own variation of an order. It seems to always work out better, so I want to try some of hers sometime because she did, like, uh, cinnamon dolce syrup in the foam or so, I don't know, just, it sounded really good, but. There you go. Thank you. You all have a good day. Oh, yeah. You too. This is one of those, it doesn't have the foam at the top. That's right, I used to get these. This is one that's not like a cold foam. I should have said it was cold foam. But I had that gift card, so why not? Because I wanted, um, and see that's the thing too, the cold, like the sweet, like the cream, um, like the pumpkin cream cold brew or the Irish cream, it wasn't really cold foam at the top. Uh, it was 
like cream, like basically like whipped cream or something. It wasn't like whipped cream, but it was like flavored cream, like a creamier topping. It's good. Actually better than it used to be, I feel like. Mm. Okay, it's pretty good. A little bit sweeter than they. That's why it's good. But I still taste coffee. I like to taste the coffee. I don't I like coffee that, that you can't taste the coffee, huh? That's what I said. You can still taste. I mean, their coffee is pretty strong anyway. So. Well, you didn't run anybody over. <laughs> Definitely sounded like it. <laughs> they're they're gonna have the door shut. They're trying to take off. It's closing. It looks like. They're over it. They're getting out of here. Anyway, we're at Dirt Cheap and we're gonna go in there. Yep. That's what you're gonna say. You got it. You got it, dude. You know who says that? What? You got it, dude. Where's that from? You got it, dude. Why would I know? Full house. Okay. Mm -hmm. Dirt Cheap, they have a bunch of these Mrs. Meyers uh, dryer sheets. They smell amazing, man. This is open. So, uh, it's lemon. It's all really good, but anyway, we need dryer sheets, and I really like Mrs. Meyer stuff, so I had a whole bunch of them, and Manny was like, actually, we literally need to get dryer sheets, he wanted to put that on the list, so we're going to get some of those. I don't know. It's <clears> them. <throat> yeah, Mrs. Meyer's is just generally a little more expensive anyway, but they're supposed to be like, they're supposed to be like better for you and everything, so... Attention all dirt cheap associates, please conduct the code W, please conduct the code W, thank you. Oh, for associates, I guess I'm not one. Christmas trees, alert, Christmas trees are 80% off. If you're looking for a Christmas tree. Pet fountain, yes. Well, I found these shoes for myself, Christmas shopping, but these are for me. I've wanted these before and they didn't have my size and they do today and they're seven dollars so Merry Christmas to me. So we're at Wendy's right now. Um because they opened one up near the Walmart that we go to, so um we're at Wendy's. I really like Wendy's. I love their salads. I didn't get one, but their spicy chicken salad is really good. I like their spicy chicken in general, so we got spicy chicken sandwiches and this gigantic lemonade because I love their natural lemonade at Wendy's. It is. You got pulp in it. Um, but anyway. Here you go. Thank you. Thank you, too. Thank you. You gonna save yours? Oh, we Chicken sandwiches. I'm hungry. I'm gonna eat these on the way home. I need to back in the car. Um, we're on our way home. So we just got home, and Manny ordered me some throat coat tea. I love this stuff. It's amazing for singers, public speakers, or just people in general. But especially if you're a singer, um, when you're sick, or just on a regular week, not only when you're sick. Um, so I needed some of that. He's making some more cookies too. How delicious these look! Like. So good. He makes the best cookies. They were in yesterday's vlog too. All right, so I am in the guest room, AKA the place where Christmas has blown up. Um, we have all our Christmas presents and everything being stored in here. Um, so yeah, I want to show you what we got from Dirt Cheap today. Um, we got some gifts today too from Dirt Cheap, but can't show those because they're for Christmas and most of the people I buy gifts for watch these videos so um anyway I got this scarf because it goes with a hat that I got there one time I love this color I thought this was really cute it's from Target but this color I just think is really pretty it was two dollars two maybe two and some change um and then it's like fringed too if you can see like I don't know I think it's a really cute scarf even though it's 70 degrees here in Texas so yeah 70 degrees on December 13th it's just like 
Still mind blowing to me, but here we are. So, anyways, this is um, Mrs. Myers. I can smell this. I'm holding it here. They smell so good. But uh, lemon verbena dryer sheets. We needed some dryer sheets. Um, I like Mrs. Myers stuff. Never had their dryer sheets, but I have had their cleaner. Um, this is the apple cider scent cleaner. I always get it from Dirt Cheap. It's usually like a couple bucks there. It lasts a long time. We have several. And I love these because they actually make the whole room smell. I'm sorry if I sound sick because I am, but um, they make the whole room smell like whatever this smell is. So this is apple cider scent and it literally smells exactly like apple cider. Like it's the exact same smell. Like the exact same smell. So if you spray this in your countertops, your whole room, I use this in the kitchen a lot, the whole kitchen will smell, or the bathroom or whatever, will smell like apple cider. And I have a peppermint one, and with a lot of cleaners, like I love like Clorox wipes, and they do a great job. They're like really good. <laughs> I'm all about the Clorox wipes, okay? Sometimes you just gotta use some chemicals. But, no, not everybody agrees with that, but I'm okay with it. Um, <clears throat> but I know that this is more of a like, natural version. Honestly, I don't know that much about that side of it, but um, I love the way they make everything smell, and so it does a better job at that. So I think it's just really good, and it's a really good cleaner. Um, so I got that stuff for the house at Dirt Cheap. That was a couple dollars. The um, dryer sheets were like, I don't even know how much they were. I don't know, a few bucks, three bucks, something like that. I'm not even sure. So Anyways, um, I showed you guys these shoes already that I got, and I almost got another pair of shoes, and this will tell you how cheap I am. <laughs> oh my goodness, you guys. Okay, so there's this pair of shoes that I've been wanting. They're from the Wild Fable brand. They're like really chunky tennis shoes, and I have wanted them so badly. I'm sure a lot of people would think they were ugly. I love them. I really like uglier shoes, like what other people would think are uglier. I like really like that. So I've wanted them for a long time. They've never had them in my size. I've seen other people with them. Like, they just never have my size. Well, I did read somewhere they run a little big. Like, the shoes are, are chunkier, so, like, they have more room or whatever. So, I don't know if that's always the case, but apparently these did. So, anyway, I found them today in a size 8. I'm an 8.5, like, pretty solid 8.5 in shoes. So, anyways, I mean, occasionally, if it's, like, a very certain kind, I could even go to a 9 but very rarely ever smaller than eight and a half. Well, I, they had them in an eight, and so I was like, okay, if they're like really cheap, like some shoes there are like two, three bucks. If they're like that, and they're an eight, and they're a little tight, like your girl can squeeze, but I didn't know if I was going to. So I put them on, and they actually fit me. Now, eight and a half, would it have fit better? Yeah, good chance it may have, but they were not tight. They might, even Manny felt like my toe was not all the way at the end. I actually think it was a pretty good fit. So I was gonna buy them if they're five dollars or less. Now I know that for most people you're like five dollars or less for shoes, but I literally have several pairs of shoes that were um, like three dollars from there. So I was like, if they're five dollars or less, I'm gonna get them. Well, they didn't have a tag, and I think that that was one of my issues because the people like if if something at Dirt Cheap doesn't have a tag, it's like just you basically they have to make it up. I could be wrong about that, but they do at my store. They basically make it up. So. Um, I went and asked, like, how much are they? And the girl working was like, I don't know. And another girl was like, oh, 50 cents, like, joking. But I was, like, hoping, like, they were just going to do that, you know. But anyway, they didn't. And the other woman working was like, I think they were either $15 or $18. And I'm thinking, first of all, I've seen them in here before, and I think they were, like, 10 Second, I am paying 15 or $18 for them and dirt cheap. So I did not get those. I am going to be, I'm believing for some even better shoes that are way less expensive, even though $18, $15 is not expensive for shoes, you guys. But especially at Christmas time and not knowing for sure if they were the right size. Like, I don't know, sometimes when you get me home, it, you know what I mean? Just isn't right. So that made me nervous. But I got these shoes that um, I love. Again, some people probably think that these are ugly. I don't. Um, I love them. I, I love different stuff. I can think of a million different ways that I could wear these. I love the colors. I just really like these. So yeah, these are the shoes that I got. They say $12 on them. They were $7. Um, so I already knew the price of these. I knew they were $7 um, when I was buying them. But I really like, I looked at these for a long time as well. And these are eight and a half. So I can justify that because <laughs> They're at least my own size. Um, so that's what we got at Dirt Cheap and then some like gift items. I don't know if Manny got anything else. 
other than that, I don't remember. At Walmart, we got some wax cubes. I got a small uh, wax melt, like, plug-in thing for the bathroom, which was $6. Um, I got the cheapest one they had because I didn't care what it looked like. I just wanted it to work. So I've kind of had this, like, cold or whatever. It's, it is a cold. I don't know what I'm saying or whatever. I'm, like, positive. Um, and so anyway, I just, like, can't stand getting, like, sick and just, like, laying around. Like, I don't know. I just have things to do. So... I haven't been really resting or anything, but this morning I really wanted to go into Texarkana, go to Dirt Cheap, do our normal Friday thing. Not very many more until Christmas, only one more, <laughs> so that's insane. So anyways, I wanted to go there and do the whole Christmas deal, you know, do the whole thing, and um, I'm glad we did. We had fun, got some Starbucks, used my gift card, and I just I like to do things like that on our day off. Mandy and I have so much fun just going and looking through Dirt Cheap. It's like a hobby for us. We genuinely enjoy that. And there's not a lot of things um, outside of work. I mean, I don't want to say there's not a lot of things we enjoy. Like, we enjoy anything. But, like, that's something that's just, like, not work-related. Like, we're not thinking about anything for work or any, you know, anything like that. We're just doing it for fun. And so I love to go and do that. Um, but anyway, we went, and I was feeling okay. I wasn't feeling great, but I was okay. And, like, halfway through Dirt Cheap, I just started to get really hot. And I don't know if I maybe I had a fever that broke. I'm not sure. I was kind of dizzy, not like I thought I was going to pass out or anything, just like when you have a cold and you've got a lot, a lot of fluid in your head, that kind of thing, just like, you know what I mean, off balance almost, um, which was okay, but we ended up leaving there, um, we stayed there for a while, it was probably more than halfway through when I started feeling that way, probably closer actually to the end, um, but then we went to another store because I had to pick something up for my mom and went to Walmart and came home, we got that Wendy's as you saw, but I said I've been feeling good, so I'm going to try to rest and um, rest my voice. Honestly, my voice doesn't sound great. Um, so I need to rest it for Sunday. I do have some help with the leading on Sunday, which is going to be great, but I just, like, need to have the voice, you know? So, um, yeah, I'm just going to try to rest tomorrow, and that's okay to do that. I just have a hard time resting. I don't know what's wrong with me. Like, I just never want to, not that I don't want to rest, but, like, I don't know, I'll like lay down, I'll, I'll like have a good time watching TV or whatever, but then I'm like, man, I need to get up and do something, you know, after a little while, but anyway, I'm going to end the vlog, um, and I already said that, but thank you for watching and hanging out, and um, yeah, I know, um, you know, leave a comment if you've been enjoying Vlogmas, and um, I know that obviously more people are watching than they're commenting, and I, I understand that because I don't always comment either, but I would love to kind of get some feedback from you guys, just um, how your Christmas season is going and all that kind of stuff. Thank you for watching. Remember, you're incredible. Jesus loves you, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.